Search and destroy. Go, man. Oh, just communicate. Just communicate. I'm pretty excited to do it. Uh, I always love casting it. So uh, what are your thoughts here as we're going to play Aftermath? Tell me a little bit about Aftermath, where the bombs are located here. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to see some bomb sites placed up in sort of that business center area right there, and then you're going to see it on the exact opposite. So we split these teams pretty aggressively. So watch these guys position up and see what kind of statement they're going to make. And I love this view right here, Hastro, because we're going to know exactly who's alive on each team. Yeah, and we're going to go ahead and swap on board here with Merck. He's making moves with the North Americans. And now we see an engagement occurring as Merck takes down Quantum. That's going to give the North Americans a great advantage in this area. But there are more Europeans around. And it looks like Merck is going to hop down here. Big Timer picking up a kill there in the kill feed. We see that Karma and Toby are down for the North Americans. Nice, Quantum and Raiden are down. So the Americans, North Americans have the advantage here as oh. Merck flanks around with that hip fire yet again, takes out Gunshi. And now it looks like they have put that bomb down. So the North Americans controlling that area and we're in here with the engagement as Merck trying to get that jump shot. Twiz picks up that kill. And now it looks like there's one North European left. It's gonna be Swanee who has to play this quickly. There yeah, you have it, Merc wow. going massive for the North Americans that round. As we see here on the kill cam, that was a quick round, and I love how that played very fast, Vaughn, in s and It's great. It's something that we really learned from the competitive communities. The round timer here, we're playing at two minutes. There's all sorts of options while we dial this in, and it just pushes the action, and we go real fast into it. There's no wasting time. As we take a look here, it looks like Merck put up three kills in that first round for the North Americans as they take the lead, and now they swap sides. Oh, excuse me, they didn't swap sides. We're going to be playing this uh, straight up. So they are on offense yet again. Yeah, and in fact, you can actually change this in the custom game options, Hastro. We can actually let you switch sides every round. And we're just playing something so that the guys at home who are following can kind of get in the rhythm of this thing right away. Absolutely. So most people are used to looking at it this way. In the competitive side, you usually switch round by round. So you do have that option still. And oh. look at that. Karma just got an early Christmas present right there. Swanee. What was, was Swanee doing right there? He was laying down prone and, and holding down that choke point. And now it looks like Karma is still going to make a move here. And he's going to drop down. He's going to be one player right there for Karma. So he's getting a couple Christmas gifts. As we take a look here, we see that Raiden is last alive for the Europeans. And Twiz is going to take him out. Man. So the North Americans are just dominating. Yeah, they're up 2-0 already. And we're only four rounds to win. So the North American team is just absolutely doing work right out of the gate. Yeah, and you know, Toby is playing with the North Americans as well. And we'll take a look and see how he's doing playing against his European side and he is three and two so he's positive so he's definitely going at it and trying to win this round and now we see Karma again we're on board with him why don't we switch it up and take a look here we'll go jump on board with the Europeans we'll jump on board with Shane and Shane is pretty much all by himself over here but there might be an engagement coming up somebody's gonna be peeking around that corner and Shane is coming around here what is gonna happen oh, there's, a, there's shock a shock charge, charge right there Look at that, that's just seconds of shock, but just enough time to really get you out of your mental state. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, Vaughn, I want to talk about the score panel up top. We can see immediately the Europeans have five alive right now. It's telling us now four as Shane gets taken out by Karma. The North Americans have three alive. Now it's three versus three. Now three versus two as Karma and Ray pick up kills. And why don't we take a look here? Oh, you're on board with Nice. Yeah, we had to swap players. Von, Von's better caster than I am, I'm telling you all. Yeah. As Merck takes out Nice, Wow. what were you going to say there? Yeah, so this is actually really important. We actually stay with the player. That way it's not auto-switching on you, and as a caster, you can decide who you want to follow at all times. Yeah, so Von just gave me a quick button tap as I was just running my mouth. And so I'm still getting used to the controls. They're so dynamic. Uh, I can do so much with the, with the COD casting mode. But the North Americans are just on fire. And I saw somebody trying to pull out a sniper rifle a little while ago. Um, <laughs> I really want to try and find that. All right, there's that round switch now. So yep. we, we got something entirely different going on here. Who's got the bomb right now, Hasher? Let's take a look. We'll take a look, see who has the bomb. It's going to be Gunshi. We're on board with Gunshi, and he gets taken out. That bomb's down already. Now, Ray for Optic is on a three kill streak in S&D. So three left for the Europeans, four for the North Americans, and this could be all she wrote for Let's, the Europeans in S&D. We're going to see how these guys stack up and protect this down bomb and figure out what happens now. Four alive for our FBI team. 
and they are getting real patient. That's what happens right about now. Yep, and look at that. Ray spots one there, and he's going to go ahead and take off. Smart decision. He was kind of laying prone there in a, in a spot where it might have been, not have been advantageous. And we'll take a look here. It looks like he is going to come up on some players. I like this hunting going on right now. These players are very deliberate. They will do what it takes. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Yep. That's Swanee taking down Ray. Should be three and two right now. And now Toby, he's playing on the North American side, hanging tight here. The Europeans are, are on offense, so they're going to have to grab that bomb. And now one alive for the Europeans. It's going to be Raiden. We're on board with him. What can oh, he do? Look at the just, shots on Raiden right there. dipping and dodging bullets right now. Oh, and there you have right it. into Toby. The North American side. The North side. American team going 4-0 right there. But you got to give props to Toby. I got to keep telling everybody out there. He's, he is European, and he just picked up that final kill cam for the, for the North American side. So big job.